think of coral, it's supposed to be underwater, but not when it's a residential neighborhood in the city of Miami. When it rains in Coral Gate, neighbors say it feels like they're living on waterfront property. CBS 4's Joel Waldman is live in Coral Gate tonight with more on what's being done about it. Joel? Lauren Elliott, not unlike some other Miami streets, this one also gets submerged each and every time it rains, but all that is about to change. Under the night sky, this short stretch of road in Coral Gate, Miami's very first subdivision, looks like any other street. But neighbors know otherwise. This street has been a problem for about 40 years or more. I mean, I'm excited about it. You know, who isn't? Excited that she and baby Sloan will no longer need to navigate floodwaters with their baby stroller each time rain dumps down. You can't tell there's a street. It just looks like a canal. For the past 40 years, this place, or this street, this avenue, has become a river every time it rains. Miami City Commissioner Manolo Reyes breaking ground on a new project to fix the flooding like we see across the city each time it gets drenched with a downpour. The city's Department of Resilience and Public Works set to install new perforated pipes and drainage structures. This is a roadway that uh, historically has been uh, a, a challenge for us in the city, has been flooding for many years. Speaking of many years, mom Amy Polanco says she'll be gone way before then for fear of what rising sea levels could do to Miami. 40, 50 years, I don't really see us here. A common fear both the commissioner and assistant director of the city's public works tell us is already being handled here and throughout other flood-prone areas of Miami. We are well aware of sea level rising, but what the, that, uh, since we are aware, it will be responsible for us not to take the, the proper action. The city has a strong stormwater master plan that we're starting to implement. Now here in Coral Gate, this $300,000 project is only expected to take about 60 days or two months to complete. And they say once it's done, this street will no longer flood, but I guess time will tell. Reporting live in Miami, Joel Waldman, CBS4 Tonight.